PALES, once again, uh, it stands for Progressive Angular Isometric Loading. Um, it, it was the concept of PALES itself um, was uh, pretty much brought about um, by the, um, the misconceptions with regards to PNF stretching and with regards to uh, post isometric relaxation, uh, which is which is a you know commonly used a commonly used uh, technique by a lot of manual practitioners. Um, and it's not necessarily to say that the technique is not effective, more to say that uh, if you look at the research re regarding uh, these techniques and regarding stretching, um, the premise behind the techniques um, really needs to be changed because it's not really um, uh, keeping up with, with, with the literature. Uh, when actual EMG recordings were taken back in, in 1979, uh, there's an uh, article by uh, Marcos and Moore, um, the idea of reciprocal inhibition, which is one of the, the concepts used uh, and utilized by, by people who are practicing uh, with PNF type techniques, uh, was actually disproven. Um, so what I wanted to do was change the, the concept or change the idea behind what you're actually doing when you're contracting a tissue and then relaxing the tissue. Uh, what the studies showed is that when you contract a tissue, when you put the tissue under load, and then you tell your person, your patient to relax, quote unquote, um, in order that you can achieve another uh, more soft tissue stretch, the EMG reading doesn't didn't actually show a relaxation of the tissue. What it found actually was an increased EMG activity. Um, so the tissue isn't really uh, relaxing at all. Uh, the tissue is actually is actually contracting. Um, as the tissues lengthening, which which further proves the idea that increases in range of motion are really uh, neurologically uh, driven, and it's uh, what's happening is you're getting a, a an increase in stretch tolerance by your nervous system, uh, not really relaxation as was previously uh, believed. So, um, so that was that was one thing about kind of changing the idea behind PNF and PIR. Um, but more importantly, the PALES difference, uh, the difference between PALES and these other uh, techniques is that PALES incorporates or emphasizes the need to strengthen newly acquired ranges of motion in order that your body will then incorporate those ranges of motion uh, into actual functional movement. Uh, so you're strengthening the outer ranges of motion um, using uh, isometric contraction. So um, the reason we have progressive angular isometric loading is because it's known that with uh, isometric strength training, the effect of the strengthening is only going to um, affect the angle of uh, the range that you're, you're working at, plus or minus 10 degrees. So the idea of, of progressing the angle uh, of, of training uh, makes it so that you're going to strengthen an entire range of motion. So. Progressive angular isometric loading, number one, allows you to achieve a greater range of motion, which when coupled with uh, functional range release treatment will allow you to further release soft tissue tension in, in the, the target uh, structures. Uh, but then it goes on to begin to rehabilitate or train the muscle or the tissue to um, become stronger within that range so then the, the body can actually uh, control the range of motion. So as opposed to P PNF, PIR, we're not doing, you know, 60% uh, contractions. Uh, PALES training, PALES conditioning actually uses uh, uh, contractions that are closer to your to your, um, your MVC or your maximal voluntary contraction because you need to have a contraction strong enough to actually, actually cause a strengthening effect. And it's known from uh, exercise physiology research that you need to achieve a certain percentage of MVC in order to actually strengthen um, tissue. So PALES um, has an application with regards to the way that functional range release is, 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 is performed. It's involved in the actual treatment. Um, during the treatment, you're already beginning first level rehabilitation um, by uh, teaching the system to contract um, in these, in these uh, new range of motions. You're uh, increasing the, um, the piezoelectric effect by causing st more stress or to actually get the body to contract and produce forces 
in the direction that you want the, the soft tissue to heal in. Uh, you're also preventing post-injury inhibition, uh, which is a, a very common thing that occurs after injury, is that certain muscles become inhibited by, by incorporating these, these contractions into your soft tissue treatments, you, you can prevent um, uh, these inhibitions. As well as isometric uh, exercise has been used um, uh, for a long time now to uh, teach the nervous system to uh, increase neural drive uh, to tissue. So I don't want to get into all of the, the components of pails or all of the, the things that it can be used for, but there's also um, the idea of postural retraining using uh, uh, pails type contractions uh, that we're going to get into in uh, functional range uh, seminars.